Hi, beautiful. You look fabulous. Well, you look fabulous every day. Nothing new here. Thank you for being here, though. You might be a seasoned vet on air drying your hair perfectly. You might be like, Brad, I already know everything there is to know about air drying my hair. Maybe not after today. You might also be that girl or that guy who says, no, 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 no. My hair gets frizzy, it's unruly, it gets nasty, I don't have any wave pattern. I'm here to tell you today that you are wrong. Anybody and everybody can air dry their hair and still have it look beautiful, glossy, shiny, wavy, and did I say perfect? Well, perfect. Of all my years doing hair, I've never come across one single person who can't be taught how to air dry their hair properly, effectively, and still have it look fabulous and gorgeous with absolutely no heat and very, very little effort. Now, this whole process involves having the right products and the right technique. If you're not using products to air dry your hair, <laughs> that's so embarrassing. I feel bad for you. And if you are and you're not getting the right effect you're looking for, maybe you're not using the right products and maybe you don't have the right technique. We're gonna review my three easy ways to air dry your hair. And we're also gonna review my three favorite products to air dry your hair. And things are gonna get spicy. <sighs> So by the end of this video, you'll be able to give yourself those perfectly, flawlessly defined beach waves at home. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into it. I wanna preface this video by saying a few things to start. These three, three techniques can be used on any hair type or texture. It's up to you to try the three of them and see which one works best for you. Some people might really hate one of these things. It might really not work for your hair type, but I'm pretty confident all three of these will work for any hair type or texture. From my experience, it has, but hey, I've been proved wrong before. And now to really begin today, we're talking about a brand new Xmondo product. And if you followed us at X Model Hair on Instagram, you've seen it already and you know it is fabulous. It is called Salty Sea Salt Spray. Ah! She is so beautiful. Don't we just look so cute together? Like. Hello. Put me on the cover of the Vogue with Salty, because we kill it together. It is this beautiful pink color, of course, you know, with the fabulous silver finish. But you know what? It's not about the bottle that counts. It's about what's inside the bottle. Now, I wanted to quickly highlight the products I'll be using today, and Salty is one of them. Now, Salty is formulated with water from France. Yes, imported water from France, because we want that very beautiful salt water. We also combined one of our favorite oils, Bobab oil, into the ingredients. That way, this this sea salt spray doesn't dry your hair out too much. That drying effect gives you amazing texture and that is why sea salt spray is so loved by people. We made sure our formula wasn't too drying and also had a little bit of nutrients with those oils inside of it to help it stay a little bit moisturized. And another product we'll be highlighting today is Wave Tech. I know a lot of you guys already have it and thank you. I appreciate everybody who have supported. It is our number one product right now. The reason why I wanted to bring up these two at the same time right now is because there is some confusion, not a lot, but some confusion on what the difference is between the two of these products. Now, just to review, Wave Tech is a wave forming product. You can use this on your existing curly hair or wavy hair. People with 4C hair, very, very tight, coily hair have used this product and found great results. People with straight hair can also use it to give themselves a bit of wave. Now, this waving product does an amazing job at forming new wave and defining existing wave. However, it has very, very little hold. It'll define your wave. It'll keep your wave there, but there won't be any sort of texture. It'll still be very soft, which I know a lot of you guys absolutely love that. And I do too. It's going to keep your hair bouncy. There's going to be absolutely no crunch and you're going to get those amazingly defined beach waves that you've been dying for with absolutely no frizz and you don't have to use heat with it. Now, personally, I use both of these products together pretty much all the time. I start with wave tech and finish with salty. That way I get that extra wavy, wavy, beachy, beautiful look. However, the other differences are that this one adds a lot of texture. This one's gonna keep your hair very bouncy and smooth. And Salty will give you a little bit more of a windswept kind of look, a little more disheveled, a little more textured, a little more of that surfer girl kind of look. But Wave Tech will give you a more soft, 
everyday kind of style. Now, because Wave Tech is a foam product, it's not as good for on the go moments, just because like if you actually are at the beach, you don't wanna put foam on your hand and then like scrunch your hair. I feel like that's kind of like a lot, but with Salty, it is a spray. It is a very fine mist. You can bring it on the go with you. It's very easy to use and then throw your hair up in a bun, let it down, have it be wavy. It's just a really easy product and very user friendly. I prefer to use Salty on the go and Wave Tech at home, but overall, both amazing products that can be used together or separately. And we'll go over more of that later. Those are the two main products I'll be using today that I wanted to highlight because they are gonna be very important to making these looks last and work properly. Tools needed for this. Your hands, some good products, wide tooth comb is great. And if you really wanna be extra, a few clips. You don't need a lot, but they are good to have for natural styling. Literally anybody could do this. Now, why don't we bring in my model for today, Miss Manny Quinn, and let's do the first look. Miss Manny Quinn, thank you for being here and being my friend. We're in love with each other. Oh my God, I think she actually loves me. What the f <laughs> Don't become too attached, Miss Manyman, because one day I'm gonna throw you away. But I love you. Thank you for like being in my videos with me. As you can see, her hair is air drying pretty quick. That's just because her hair has a lot of chemicals in it. For these looks, I would definitely make sure your hair is prepped and washed and clean and ready to go. I would also just make sure that your hair is not dry. I would also say that if your hair tends to be very frizzy, make sure you're starting off with your hair quite wet, like 95% wet and like just slightly towel dried real quick on those ends, just so it's not dripping. But you do want it to be pretty wet when you are doing natural hair hairstyling, what will happen with the towel is you'll get a lot of frizz. Now, if you really do want to towel dry your hair a lot, try using a microfiber towel that will help decrease the amount of frizz you add with the towel. Also try using a paper towel. I know that's kind of weird, but when I've done perms, I've used paper towels to dry their hair. That way it doesn't get at all frizzy. Grab some paper towels and really scrunch with it. And it tends to not rough up the cuticle or get any frizz in the hair. So important that you prep your hair correctly for these hairstyles. Don't scrub your hair with a towel. Don't ever do that, but especially not when you're doing a natural hairstyle like this. As you can see, she has a cute little tiny wave pattern going on. That's her natural hair. If it air dries, it's pretty straight, but we are going to manipulate that. Now, everybody's hair has a little bit of wave. If you say, no, Brad, my hair is super pin straight. There's probably like 1% of people who have really pin straight hair. Most people do not. I have maybe seen like one person, two people in my whole life that have have naturally pin straight hair. Everybody has a tiny bit of a wave pattern. I would comb out your hair very gently, not with this, but with a wide tooth comb, maybe even wider than this would be better for you, but just comb it out, get those knots out. And this is how we are going to prep for all of these styles. Just getting those knots out, not stressing the hair too much, not putting too much effort into the comb, just making it look nice in the top. Less is more with natural hair styling. We're gonna call this first method the scrunch method. Oh my God, that's groundbreaking, Brad. I've never scrunched my hair before. Shut up. Even if you scrunched your hair before, you probably aren't doing it correctly. For this first method, we are using wave tech. We are also using salty. I always apply wave tech with a comb. It's just so much easier this way. You don't get it on your hands. Wave tech is a very airy foam. And I feel like it's just more effective when you use a lot of it. It smells so divine. Japanese cherry blossom, bergamot, white butterfly jasmine. It is the most delicious smell ever. What I'm doing is just combing this through the top of her hair. I'm also going to just section off a little bit underneath here and make sure the product is distributed underneath her hair as well as on top. I'm just gonna get a little bit more. I usually just do like four pumps. And honestly, it's gonna look like you just shampooed your hair and didn't wash it out. That's when you know you used enough of this. You know, don't be shy to use a ton of this product. Do you hear this? That's when you know you put enough wave tech in. And we're gonna do the same thing all around her head, just going on the underneath. Beautiful application. All the product is raked through the hair. This will work for people with 4C, very curly hair. Now I wouldn't necessarily comb it all through like I just did. You can actually just do it with your hands and just get it through your hair. You do not have to comb it through. I like to work in four quadrants. So that's from ear to ear and down the middle of the back. Pick up her hair and scrunch it. We're getting wave already. You see that? We're just being gentle with it though. We're not like, 
Like that's how girls do it and it drives me nuts. You'll get better waves with less frizz if you're more gentle with it. So we're gonna go all the way to the ends with that same technique and just adding texture. There's no frizz at the top and if there is, please get it down before it air dries because that will not be cute. Again, Wave Tech is going to give you very, very light hold, but it's going to define your waves. I know that's kind of a weird mixture, like it doesn't have hold, but it also defines. But once you use it, you'll understand. If your hair isn't sort of turning out like this, you can go in and take pieces, wrap them around your finger, take it off your finger like this, and drop it down. See how defined that wave is now? That will work on a pin straight hair. So easy, so chill. Sometimes I like to combine both of those techniques where I scrunch it, then maybe in the front, I will give her some nice defined waves, or I won't do this at all. I'll just scrunch the whole thing. That's looking splendid. I love it. Now let's do the next one. We're going up, scrunch, down. We're going up, scrunch, down. I love the way it looks. I don't think it needs a lot more. I think it's pretty chill, but we can always just fake having a little bit more wave with just a few of these on top. I want you guys to love your natural hair. I really do. That is my goal today. I know it's possible for everybody to love their natural hair. This looks perfect to me. There's no frizz. She has beautiful definition around her face and it is a great beachy look. So you guys could totally leave it there and let it air dry or you could do one last step. I like to use these little flat clips like this or you can use any kind of clip really. I'm gonna use these today because it doesn't leave a crease in her hair. If you guys are lacking volume and you really wanna add some volume in there easily, check out Electrified, it'll be linked below. It's my volumizing foam, it is incredible. Can't stress that enough, holy it gives you so much volume. Okay, now that her hair's all pinned in place, let's let her air dry and I'll come back and show you how to finish off the look. And she's back. So you can tell that she has this volume still. Also, this beautiful wave, it looks so Dunning, she has a very natural wave. This is not going to look like you use a curling iron. Sometimes people think natural wave is ugly. I personally think it's beautiful. It's very irregular. As you can see, there is a beautiful amount of shine. There's no frizz and her wave is beautifully defined all over. However, I wanna kind of finish this off a little bit more with a few products. I am going to add some salty in here to give her a little bit more pieciness. It looks pretty, it's really soft, but I wanna add more texture and more definition to these waves because that's how I like it. So I'm just gonna spray this and just scrunch. See how this is just adding that extra bit of definition we were lacking? I'll do one side. You can also spray your hand, then use it on the hair. Beautiful. That is what it looks like with salty in there. Now it'll dry just like that if you let it and it'll help define the look. And that is the before again. And this is the after again. As you can see, it's a lot more defined, even more than before. And salty really emphasize the way we put in there previously with Wave Tech. Again, they work amazing together. That is some beautiful natural wavy hair. I'm gonna throw in some BDSM Balm. This is a very hydrating, very high shine, very light hold balm. So it's gonna be great for defining naturally curly hair or hair that you just made curly with some Wave Tech and Salty Sea Salt Spray. I'm just gonna put it on my fingertips and just go in on those areas where I want extra definition, which is typically the ends because they are dry. And this is our finished look. I love it. For a girl who would naturally have straight hair, if it air dried by itself, to go from straight hair to this is amazing. It's so beautiful. And that was the scrunch technique. Now let's move on to the next technique, which is the twist technique. <sighs> we have her sister, Miss Minnie. Quinn, they're twins. And they do have very similar names, I will admit it. But very different people, as you can see. She has this gorgeous split tone color going on and she's about to get some natural waves and this very straight hair. It's one out of the three favorites of mine. We're gonna be prepping with Wave Tech again, the same way we just did previously. So let's do it. 
Okay, so she's now loaded up with wave tech, as you can see. Oh, girl, you got a lot of wave tech in there. Now, let's start on the front of her head. I am going to split this quadrant in half, just like that. And we're gonna work down here first. What we're gonna be doing here is twisting the hair. Now, this twisting method will give you much more defined waves that are very coily. Whereas our first technique is going to give you very irregular, very different sorts of waves on the entire head. This will give you similar waves on the entire head all around. Now let's take two strands. Let's twist and twist. We're twisting each separate piece together and then twisting them together. A lot of people who have natural hair are like, yeah, it's really easy. And we're getting a lot of wave tech in that bottom so that it stays very nicely put and it'll just stay like that. Now we're gonna do that same thing on this section above and feel free to do bigger sections if you want larger waves or do smaller sections if you want really tight, small waves. And that is our two side sections. I'm gonna repeat that on all four sections. So at the end, we're gonna have eight sections in total all twisted up. And if you're having trouble with your hair staying and it's really short like it is back here, you can totally use a double prong clip to keep them in place. It really doesn't need to be like completely flawless. Have fun with it, guys. Hair is about having fun and learning. The more you do it, the better you get at it. All right, let me finish this off very quickly. We're gonna make me go a little faster, ready? One, two, three. All right, so we're at the last section and I just wanted to review kind of how to do this one more time because I've actually gotten better at it the more I've done it right now. So only one hand is ever doing the twisting. The other hand is just passing the hair along. Okay, so the entire head is now all twisted up. It should look something like this. Now, Ms. Manny Quinn is gonna go and air dry. Boom! She's done air drying. Her bangs look gross. <laughs> let's just comb those out and ruin the rest of her hair at the same time. Okay, they look great now. So let's quickly undo all this. Take these clips out. <laughs> so I already did one side because I wasn't patient enough. We're gonna use a wide tooth comb and I am actually just going to comb these out. Now, it is going to be a little crazy at first, but it's your job to reform those waves. Now, people with naturally curly hair, your hair will come out different than this. It'll probably be a little less straight at the ends with the very wavy top, but I really dig this look that's happening right now. Now, we lost a little bit of definition down here. As you can see, it's really poofy. We have really nice waves right here and it's really poofy. We're gonna fix that by using some Viper oil. I'm gonna use quite a bit of this and we are going to go in through the ends and add back that definition. This is going to piece together the waves and add more hydration. Get rid of that little bit of, I wouldn't call it frizz, but the waves kind of got detached from each other, which caused the frizz, but it's not exactly like your typical frizz. That is adding an insane amount of shine. My oil, the thing I love about it is that it really dries into the hair. It's not going to leave a nasty, slippery, greasy mess on your head. It's really going to get inside of the hair and really penetrate and rehydrate from the inside out. Oh, she looks so good. So this definitely gave her more of a crimped, really intense wave, but it is so freaking pretty. The more I play with it in my hands, you see the more the wave is being released and it's getting a little bit flatter and she's getting less of that really like poofy wave and more of a soft defined look. And I just think it looks so amazing. So please, if it doesn't come out perfect like right away, sometimes it just takes a little bit of work with your hands to get it into the shape you want it to be in. It's all about like sculpting the hair the way it wants to be sculpted. Be good to your hair and your hair well, thank you. That was beautiful. That was also just so damn easy. Let's continue on to the last and final technique, which is the bun technique. Another super simple one. Let's do it. So I actually just found out that Miss Manny Quinn is actually a triplet. This is her other, other sister, Miss Manny Quinn, and they all have the same name. So what we're gonna do for this last and final technique is we're gonna use Salty to prep the hair. And we're going to get it all over, underneath, on top, everywhere, baby. Now that we got that all done, we're just going to section out the top and the 
the bottom of her hair, right above the ear, just kind of messy, just like that. With our fingers is perfect. Boom, so we have now this section. We're going to comb it out. Now, if you have curly hair naturally, you don't have to comb it out. You can just twist it gently and then twist it into a bun. Clip the end, not making anything too tight or too perfect. Now, with this top section, I'm going to bring all of the hair to the top of her head, basically like we're doing a top knot. So now that we have this section all up here, we're going to divide right on the top of the ear another section. This is our second section. Make sure there's no knots in there. And we're gonna do the same thing, just a very easy chill bun. Now you can do more than three sections if you have longer hair, that's totally fine. And that is the look. It's like kind of a mohawk with buns. It can be a little bit higher maybe, but that's fine. We're gonna let this air dry now and I'll be back to show you guys the result and how to finish this look. Okay, she is all dry now and we're ready to take out the pins and see what we have going on. This is our last and final look. Let's drop down and do the reveal. Oh, this might be the prettiest one of all. Sorry, I'm just gonna say it. This is beautiful. Okay, you might not get it right now, but it's gonna be beautiful in a second. Let's drop down the front. Gorgeous. And also guys, if you have a lot of hair, please do more sections in this because it does take a long time to dry or wear it overnight. So honestly, I would just go like this and shake my head, but uh, we're gonna take her off and do it, give her a real good shake, just like this. So I just put in a little bit more salty on her ends just because I want it to be a little bit more defined. And then I let it air dry again for another half hour. It was still a little bit damp and it wasn't how I wanted it. So now we have this beautiful wave. And as you can see, a lot more voluminous than any of the other looks we've done. So you're getting this amazing volume at the top because we over directed all the hair to the top of her head you're getting amazing volume and lift at the root so if you're lacking volume this is a great way to naturally style your hair i like this look it looks pretty you could totally leave it like this gorgeous fabulous but i want to finish it off with again a little bit of bdsm this is going to definitely help define these waves a little bit more you know we can break up some of these waves so they don't look as crunchy um and it's really not crunchy in person salty is just designed to give you those beautiful tousled beach waves and a little bit more texture like I mentioned before. So this is definitely for the person who loves that really rocker cool hair. So let's add a little bit of that BDSM bomb, my favorite styling aid for wavy hair or curly hair also. Just keep on pulling out some of these waves. I'm just kind of raking my hands through and pulling on the bottom with the BDSM bomb and I think that is exactly where I want to leave it. I think she looks divine. Like a mother neck. And this is the finished look. As you can see, I feel like it is the most natural looking wave of them all. It is definitely very much a beach wave. And that is exactly what salty sea salt spray gives you. It gives you that summer hair look, like you just got out of the water and let it air dry. And it is so pretty. I mean, it's still so soft and bouncy, very shiny and healthy. Yay, that's the last look. I love it so much. So those were my three techniques on air drying hair, wavy or curly flawlessly. I hope you can try at least one of those techniques on your own hair or all three of them and see which ones you like the best. Maybe you like all of them. Maybe you only like one of them. I would love to see how it goes. If you try any of these looks, make sure you tag me on either Twitter, Instagram, anywhere. I'll probably see it. And I can't wait to see how you guys do with these techniques. That was a lot of waving, man. I feel wavy now. I feel like I'm waving out. I better go wave myself to sleep. And if you guys would like to purchase any of the X Moto products, they are linked below. Salty is officially available today for purchase at xmodohair.com. And I'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on it. And that is all for today, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok at BradModoNYC. And check out my Facebook page and my Snapchat show under BradMondo. Because that's my name. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.
this is WaveTech Wave Foam. If you have dull, lifeless hair, you have no wave in your hair, or you have a ton of wave, but your hair is really frizzy and the wave doesn't stay very well, this is for you. It's also amazing for those of you with straight hair who want a natural looking wave and don't want to use any heat tools. 